They were vacationing here for the summer. We came for the 4th of July. Came from California. We dropped them off. I dropped them off. Um, went back on July 5th to go back to work. And they were spending the summer here with Grandma. They were in Radium Springs. So, actually, I was done playing on my on my aunt's trampoline. So, I just went for a little walk um, around my uncle's shop. And then I never heard the snake use its rattle. It just striked at me. Brian had been bitten by a rattlesnake. Fortunately for him, his uncle was close by and able to help him immediately. Rattlesnake uh, 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 bite can be very dangerous because of the uh, venom in the snake. And the venom can cause two major problems. One is it actually causes damage to the tissues where the bite occurs and it can actually spread and it usually does spread uh, from the area of the actual bite. But the other thing is it can uh, poison the blood so it causes uh, thinning of the blood and can cause bleeding as well. As soon as it bit me it didn't really hurt but a little bit after like a few seconds later it started hurting really bad. So I was hopping on my leg until I fell to the ground. My uncle heard me and then he carried me inside of his shop, put me in a chair, and made me try calming me down. So really what you want to do is if you're written, bitten by a rattlesnake, um, first of all, it's very important to keep the victim calm. Okay, because the more anxious they get, the faster their heart goes, and the venom kind of circulates even more. So it's very important to keep the, keep the person calm keep the affected limb as still as possible. Brian was taken to a local hospital in Las Cruces and then transported to El Paso Children's Hospital. Um, finally, they got here to El Paso. They gave him his second dose. They were already waiting for him with the medication here. You know, El Paso Children's Hospital is, of course, the only dedicated children's hospital in the city of El Paso. And uh, we also are affiliated here with the uh, West Texas Regional Poison Center. And in fact, I'm one of the toxicologists for the West Texas Poison Center. We are the only uh, PICU in the city where there is a doctor available right there on the premises 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All of the nurses and therapists and doctors exclusively practice uh, pediatrics. Accidents do happen and you wanna be able to, to have a place to take and they react fast. And I'm very, very grateful that you guys are here. You could give money over here to the hospital because I saw a lot of sick kids. And I really think they need help. So, yeah. <laughs>